So we're going to see our boat all put together for the first time. And we're so lucky to have Carla with us as well. And she has not seen it either. Oh, so look at that little nose. First time for all of us. Did you say little nose? Wow. You didn't say little nose. Oh wow. man, it's such a good looking boat. <laughs> wow. It's what do you so think? It's so big. It is way bigger than before. Vladimir, is it definitely ours or is it an 80? It's definitely ours? Yes. Carla, is it the biggest 75 footer you've ever seen? Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> Look at the welds. It looks really nice. This is just points, right? Because they yeah. might still have to open something. Yes, so we will weld it from the inside and then from the outside. I can't believe how big it is. It's crazy. Wow, look how flat the bottom is actually. Are you still not intimidated? Still not intimidated. Are you serious? I mean, look at the focus. No, I'm looking forward to it actually. Okay, I want to go on it's board so, now. You want to go up? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Look at the hole without fairing. Yeah. It's super even. You and I have seen other steel yachts that didn't look like that before they put the fairing on. They look like really crinkled paper and then uncrinkled. I mean, it looks almost like fiberglass. So how do we get up there? We follow Vladimir and Christina. This is our swim platform. Wow, it's so weird to see it all upright in the right way and not upside down. Look how big our transformer is going to be. It really feels like a 90. I mean, Lazarette, of course, once the insulation is on there, it's going to be small. But you know what? Look how much room we have height-wise. So we need to come up with some really smart ideas how it's to so use that space tall. properly. How high is the floor coming up? Not much more. No? I mean, you're going to straighten it out, of course, and you have the stairs in. And the stairs go all the way in or in the both sides like this? Or is the stairs and then there's space? Something we should ask Vladimir. Know. Yeah. Okay, well, there's the first question for the man. I think when he signed up to walk with us, he didn't know what was happening. Okay, with the stairs to the lazarette, right? Do they go all the way towards yes. the engine room? Yes. And then just on both sides is the lazarette? Or they, they kind of stop and then there's a space? No, there is a small space. So what's this? Engine room? Engine room? Spot? No, but people oh, don't yeah, know. Yeah, like yeah, there's yeah. a hole yeah, in the middle this? of our boat. What is this? What the heck is this? Sorry, we didn't install engines yet, <laughs> so we will do it soon. <laughs> that actually. engine room looks actually pretty large. The beam in the engine room is insane. Okay, who cares about the engine room, right? This is our humongous bench. I mean, this is Didn't really we have big. like uh, sides here or no? We took him away, right? No. You we heard them. You we heard have them. sides? Yes. It will be the main steel, the same as oh, this construction. Oh, it gets on top? Yes. This is the last revision that we did. How wide is that, roughly? So, I can show you all of the drawings, equipment arrangement and the latest structural model Tuesday. Perfect. And we will discuss this. Tuesday, Rico. Tuesday? Tuesday, we get to know these things. Okay. So right now the couch we have it to here. Yes. I mean that is. A, That's what I'm saying. It's that way, is almost way too, too big. big. Rico, what's that? Can we get a perspective <laughs> of the couch? Come in. Come, 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 come. What are we doing? Just so want to see I how know. this feels couch-wise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm watching TV. What are you doing, Kai? <laughs> <laughs> I would rather maybe put one more chair here, a loose chair we can move around. Well, anyway, I feel the same way. It's like, a lot bigger than it looks in the rendering. But that's why we had the sliding door, because this was a glass and Correct. this was the sliding door. We don't need the sliding door here. We have the door to open there. Just leaving the window then. Yeah, we can have some storage here and maybe an armchair and done. It's going to feel a lot better because if it comes out to about careful, careful. here and here's the coffee bar, you know, it's yep. very comfortable to walk by, right? Yep. And you don't think we should have like a table or... It's almost like something to put a drink on or, yeah. you know, it would be nice to have that by the couch, I think. Right now we don't have anything there. And it could stop a little bit before and the couch yeah. could continue on and then... I think so. You I have think so. this L yeah, shape. L shape. Yeah. Okay, cool. And you don't block anything here because you can still walk through properly. Yeah, see, this feels very different when you're in it. 
very different so wow, it's bigger. really tall but in your how tall do you think it's gonna be this is crazy 2.2 i think that's really good height we are 100 percent sure when we put the boat in the water it's not gonna flip over right people no, keep no, asking us that they keep going sure like <laughs> <laughs> it's like a 50 50 chance yeah. okay <laughs> Makes me feel good. People oh, keep saying yeah. it's way too top heavy. You guys don't know what you're doing. This is totally gonna tip over. We're getting no, we a lot of these We calculated the preliminary stability for this boat. Preliminary though. Yes, the preliminary. Yeah. Yes, uh, because we don't have the full equipment list for this. The maximum load capacity for that upper deck is uh, 1.5 ton. Yeah, approximately. But so strengthness wise, it would be able to accommodate more. Yeah, of course. What kind of tender are we talking? Easy, a 20 footer. Really? I mean, it doesn't well, fit there. We wouldn't there, even fit on yeah. there. <laughs> so there's no limit, really. So you could put a small but aluminum tender, like a heavier tender? Easy. Okay, so yeah, the day head. When we go back to the office, we can look at it a little. Just That's this year, right? Because look, mm -hmm. it's about this yeah. big. So just make, to make sure that layout. And it has it. one of the best windows. It does have a really good window, like a dream window in a day head. So we should put yeah. a mirror here when you sit on the toilet you can still look out hopefully you don't sit on it too long it is a day head here we decided to add one more window or no yeah. yes look how big the crew quarters is it's massive oh now we can actually feel the crew wait quarters. a minute is the wall here yes this is huge well i mean you still have i know there's still yeah but you should keep in mind that you should offset from these holes for the insulation and the yeah how much how much yeah, are we losing approximately one meter maybe more 20 <laughs> centimeters <laughs> no from the deepest girders, 80 millimeters. For example, this is the most sticking out part. So 80 millimeters, you will have the wall like this coming. It's still a very it's large still group very, water. Very, it's huge. Well, why are you being such a Debbie Downer? It's not gonna make that much difference, the eight centimeters. It will make. Look, this is so positive, <laughs> it's so positive. Wait, shower. No, oh, this is big. It's I'm very, so glad it's we very moved large. it this way. Christina, that was some good decisions, and the right? The toilet was there, right? Yeah, and it's just actually really nice bathroom i feel like it's almost better than ours no it's great where where's the wall of the yeah. galley actually the wall looks like is not on the frame yeah exactly looks like the wall is slightly behind yeah so that's frame how it looks 34. 34. oh there yeah. we go yeah yes. exactly where that thing is mm -hmm. okay got it mm -hmm. well how big is that shower then that must be massive it's huge it's a like big shower it's this big really nice shower the windows there it's right here you know when we said we're gonna go quickly look at our boat Never happens. What are we looking at next? Downstairs. Downstairs? Downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> I found a new camera person. Zaid is doing a great Thank job you. with the be camera. Be careful here. Be you careful. probably should take it down the stairs. You I need walk it Saida down the stairs, alive. And then you hold on to the railing. Hello, boat! All right. And what's the verdict? 2.1. 2.1? Yes. Still oh, stuff here gone. Wait, what is this? What is this? Stabilizer. Oh, the compartments for the stabilizers? Yeah. Do you know which one is which one? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't remember. <laughs> no, I know that this is the water tanks. They okay. are separated from and the fuel. And that's fuel? Yes. So the middle one, I suppose, is the fresh water, yes. Mm -hmm. So the big one. And these are black and gray. And these compartments are for the stabilizers? So we will have the pump group here for the fresh black and gray water, for mm -hmm. the discharge pumps and the hydrofoil. Yeah, and this access to the stabilizer compartment. These Previous are the forward fins, right? And the aft yeah, fins are in the engine room. So how do these get serviced then? It's underneath the floor, right? You will be able to lift up the floor in these points then, I guess, at some point if you have to. I remember before seeing them from like underneath, but this is like right on top. We have access catches on the interior. Got it. And that's why I was asking not to change the general arrangement because we already planned. All these manholes are accessible now. So this needs to be hatches. They're going to be hatches to open, yeah. Oh, well, we have tons of bilge area available. Said he's putting something there. We're going to put the water heaters, right? Yeah, so there is a stabilizer compartment that forward. Here is a huge bilge. It can be used like a storage, but we will have some equipment as well here. Probably a couple of pumps. What's right? the access to it? Is it like a hatch right here? Yes, hatch with the stairs. With the stairs? Like yes. a crawl space, like you go and crawl under. Yes. People just have to keep in mind, that's a 75 footer. For a 75 footer, it's a massive VIP. Well, it's basically the owner suite on a 65. This is bigger. This one's bigger? Bigger, yes. And that was a big cabin. That was a big cabin, yeah. And now the wall is getting built out here, right? For Correct, the, yes, for the toilet. The bathroom, yes. The bathroom is on the side. 
Okay, so this is where we have our full size cabin, right? Two singles are here. Oh yeah, sorry. Which, are, con which are convertible yeah, yeah. to like this one. Is two, this is the twin cabin and this is the, let's see, still was the turn around. Okay. This is the full size cabin. And that's the bathroom of that cabin, that's the head. This feels kind of small here, but where's this wall? Right here? I think it's pretty much right there, yeah. And how far back does it go? All the way to the staircase, yeah. And what's there? We have the, the staircase. Oh, that's the, that's the laundry, laundry room. room. So the laundry room is going to be tall. Not tall, so you should keep in mind that you will have the floors. Here we forever. go, here we go. This is going to put me back to yeah. the reality. <laughs> back to reality. <laughs> Above of this plate, it will be 50 millimeter. What is that? Five centimeters. Five centimeters. Two inches. The, yeah, for the final floor. 50 millimeter, you guys, is like this much. He's making it seem like it's huge, but it's five centimeters. So it goes on top, is what you're saying, for the floor? Yeah. Okay. So this area mm -hmm. under this will be used for the piping. So the air ventilation of the tanks and the filling transfer and so on. Okay, and you mean in all the cabin space when you say this? Or here, above that? Look. Five centimeter above here, this is the L profile that comes directly on top of this. Below this L profile, there is all the piping for the tanks. Wait, what's here? A bed. But it comes up like this, so what is no, all it's, one, it's gonna one be level? One, it's, it's gonna all, be all it's all one, one level. level. Yeah. So then this axis here is what I'm trying to understand. How does this work? This axis in front of the bed, I think that's where the entrance door is kind of into the cabin. Oh, you think it's right here? Oh, okay. I have a manhole plan applied on the glass J that we confirmed. So I will show you that there is no restriction to opening the manhole there. See so how you said that you confirmed? <laughs> <laughs> which one? I've confirmed so many. <laughs> so no, the, the last the, one the which last, is signed. Okay, okay, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, then the don't fall, Don't fall in the hole. This is not so big. It's not so big? It's good though, he brings us down to this level that anything above is just gonna feel like cherry on top, so it's fine, I'm, I'm okay with it. Someone has to be a realist. I think it's gigantic for a 75 footer. Carla, you've well, done gonna, a few we, boats, what well, do you think? Well, we're taking, we're taking yeah, well, what stuff away. This? The walls here. So this one here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this, this is thing. gonna be master. So look, this is a nice sized toilet actually. And then the shower here. Then wasn't one side closet or how do we do it now? Closet's there. Oh, closet's here, yeah. okay. Windows are pretty high actually, huh? Well, the, now that I mean, the, okay, the, the floor, floor is still going in, but it's still like the windows are actually pretty high. How much higher are we high getting up. on this here? So approximately here. Okay, oh, okay so where, that, the, where that thing is. Then there. the window's yeah. gonna be a nice height actually. You think? Yeah. Do you know where the water line will be? Where the water line is, roughly. I think this, yes, this right. Oh, here, right? Oh, yeah. oh, this high. So we wouldn't have that water effect. No, you will if you have the waves traveling. Well, yeah, big waves maybe. And where's the water, Christina? Yeah, where's the water? Do you see the water? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I am actually more impressed than before. So everything underneath here is tankage. It's all fuel tanks. Yes. Wow. So this is underneath the bed? Yes. Okay. Where do we go next? Fly bridge. Let's do it. Okay. I'll follow you guys. Okay. Sounds good. There's so much space up here. So you will have this uh, 600 with the grill yeah. Yeah. and the cooktop, I suppose, no? No, uh, just a grill, just a grill okay. right? We're gonna finalize it all tomorrow with Carla. We're just gonna look through everything. and Because this yeah. is the space we need to work together just to see like what makes sense. So crane is gonna go over here, right? Yes, correct. Actually base here so in the corner, right? It was in the corner under the pillar. The pillar comes here. The base is located somewhere. Yeah. Here. And then it can swing this way, over, and this way. And did you see these foldable railings? Not removable. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just foldable. Yes, you take it down. They for the helicopters and stuff too. For yeah, the... yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to get from them the quotation for this mechanism to purchase. If it will be useful, I want to... Especially when you launch a tender or retrieve a tender. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't because you need... don't need to lift it so high. You don't need to take it out, put it somewhere, so yeah. you just take it. Are you guys from... discussing the upgraded crane? That the upgraded the crane on? and then... Vladimir, where are the subwoofers going? Oh? Subwoofers. Subwoofers. Ah, subwoofers. Yes. Was there. it there? Yes. There? Yes. yes. Does Here. it look like they would fit? 
we'll talk to you next to each other. Last time when we discussed this, uh, well, we measured it, and you yes, said it was no problem. Yes, no problem. Yeah. Do they? Yes. I don't understand. Do they stick out at all? Because it's not. No, right we, we measured. I think they're fitting in almost perfect. It doesn't perfect. look right. We checked this on the 3D model, so there is no and problem. And that fits. According to this arrangement, there. Yeah. Shown. So we move them a little bit forward. Yes. If you want to, this would be a good spot for you to tell everybody where the music stuff is going. The subwoofer's going in the bulwark. Yeah. So they're hidden. You're yeah. not going to see them. And the tops are going one there and one there. Where? And one there. And that's it? That's it. Sounds painless. See, told you. Very little. Okay, we're going to go forward. Which way? This way or this way? I don't know what's better. Oh, it's so small. It feels way smaller. <laughs> Is it because we're so high up? Well, we are narrow. No, of but course. it feels smaller than last time somehow. No, I Maybe think because the, of this. I think the wall yeah. is right here. The bed is here. Like, yeah, the bed is here. The bed is, here. The, the bed is right yeah. underneath the window here. Yeah, right here. But it's a little the bit wider. Is bigger. And here, did we get 100% on it being open wall, the little patches in here? You the know, window the in the window. So I get the measurement for them yeah. 500 by 250, I suppose, like this. And it opens like a little thing? No, or? they are coming in inside. Like this? Inside, like, like, like yes, that? 15 degree or 20 That's perfect. Degree. That's perfect. Both sides. This one openable, but it will be divided as well. In two, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if Carla knows this. It's mm -hmm. like a little openable. And here too. Because this gets divided in like a two windows there. Yeah, well, no? What did we decide doorways here? Do you remember? Manual sliding. Manual sliding? Yeah, yes. manual sliding door. And it goes here, right? right. No, I will show you the drawing. So okay. we ordered for this one. I don't remember which part is sliding, but one is fixed. It's glazed. Till this the, one's till sliding, I think. Probably, yes. So it will be full glazed. Yep. One is fixed, one mm -hmm. is sliding. Yep. Okay, perfect. I will show you on the 3D model Monday. So we have got the drawings for all of the doors. Yeah. And 3D models. Now implement it to the structural 3D model. So okay. you see the clear dimensions of the doors and clear openings. When this is open, it's going to feel a lot better. Exactly. Different. You feel bad because now it's closed. When this is going to be open, you I think so too. Yeah. You can always put a skylight in. Yeah, you know, I will ask Monday, they will cut this. So they will offset here 100 millimeter and they will cut this opening both decks. Did you hear what oh, he said? Oh, no, he didn't. What? So we can always put a skylight in. Of course. <laughs> Was it on the GA Rico that you signed? No. no. But actually, the more I think about it, I'd like to have a skylight on the lower deck. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Just right here. Removable. <laughs> is it going to be too low in the pilot house? Because the floor is still coming up, right? 80 millimeter floors. 8 centimeters, okay. Yeah, but also we discussed about this, that, that we can make them 60. That's right. Here. And then here's the console anyways. So you're not going all the way forward. So anyway, you will have here this the overhead. And overhead console yeah. coming like this. No, that makes sense, actually. Come on! Did you see the hatches I sent you? Ah, for this area? Yeah, did you yes. see the ones I yes. sent you? Yes, we have so revision for this, doing? no. Okay. We didn't well hear anything, so because we will make revision. I don't remember, it was three hatches or two hatches. I have the drawing, I can show you okay. as well. So we revised all this area to have as much as possible opening here. These structural right here? Why does this have to be here? Because of this beam? No, just to have similar. This one's bigger. Uh, because it's wider here. Why did it have to be so small and so hard to get to? So what I'm asking is why we cannot do what we see on pretty much all the boats is this things that go like this instead of you have to put the cushion you have to take the thing off because on other boats it's fiberglass this is also going to be fiberglass on top right all the hatches are going to be fiberglass they're not going to be aluminum the structure it doesn't matter it's what's on top it's the covers no the structure matters we have frames underneath there well that's why i'm asking you like this here is this is structurally has to stay that frame actually not we didn't have an aim to open full of this yeah why not from one side of this, we will have the intake for the fresh air makeup unit, I suppose this side. Okay. So it will be a grill from the side. So do you want to make a cabinet from these doors from this side, for example? So I can show you what they do on all the horizons, and I think they do the best way. Because it's all just like a hatch, and it's all compartment, it's kind of like open. Okay, show me this. It could be so much better. Let's make better. He said, let's make better. So fenders can go in the anchor locker. Lines can go here. I was thinking Hoses. this one is not for fenders. This will be for the owning poles. The this owning poles, that's right. Yep, to go yep. The poles need to go somewhere too. We have a bow. We're allowed to go down there? Yeah, of course. 
the little ship. I know. So you have another sitting here. It's still a good size foredeck to work. It's also, not bad. you can check the chain locker depths. We increase the depths. But how is the access? The there will access be a hatch? Yeah, it yeah. will be a hatch, of course. Wow, that's so huge. You can sit here like 200 meters from the chain, you know. And then you still have a subfloor, right? Yes, of course. Even with the subfloor, look how big the space is there, I just actually. looked. Well, this was supposed to be like a, hey, let's go check our boat for 15 minutes. Cut to an hour and a half of footage. footage. Let's see what I come up with. And we're still not finished. First day, just arrived, way too excited. We're going to have to go, let it sink in, come back and do it in stages. Yep. See you in the next one.